This tutorial is going to show you how to do the lazy daisy stitch. It's called the lazy daisy stitch because it looks like a daisy. It's used to create flowers. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your needle and thread and you're going to bring it up from underneath the fabric. And you're just going to pull all the way through until the knot stops it. Then you're going to insert the needle back into your fabric right next to where it just came up out of the fabric. And you'll pull that, but you're not going to pull it all the way through. This is similar to the chain stitch where you want to create this loop and bring your needle up through the, through the loop. This is going to create your first petal, so make sure that however far up you bring your needle, that's how long you want your petal to be. So I'm going to make mine a little shorter, so I'm going to bring it in towards the middle. Once you've got the length you want, you can pull it all the way through. To lock that petal into place, we're going to create a little tack stitch. So we're going to bring the needle back down just on the other side of the loop. So it's just a tiny stitch created that will lock that petal into place. So now we have our first petal and we can go ahead and make our next one. We're going to come back to the center of the flower and bring the needle up. And then we're going to bring it back down right next to that stitch we just, we just did. And we're going to remember not to pull our thread all the way through. We're going to keep that loop and we're going to bring the needle up inside the loop. Once you've got it inside the loop, you can pull it all the way through and then do a little tack stitch. Tack stitch, you just go on the other side of the loop and create a small stitch that will secure the petal into place. And then you can just keep doing this until you've got your flower. Um, I usually do five to six petals, just whatever you want to do. You can do more as well, um, probably just depending on how big your flower is. And that's how you do the lazy days stitch.